counter irritants. In this video, here are the things to be discussed. First is to define counter irritants. Second, the general mechanisms of counter irritants will be discussed. Third to discuss is how does counter irritants work. And lastly, the classifications and examples of counter irritants. One of the basic drug actions is irritation. Irritation is a non-selective, often noxious stimulus. It can also be an inflammation or discomfort in a body part caused by substances like topical counter irritants. Mild irritation of certain cells such as skin or connective tissues can activate certain processes which can be beneficial to the body. Counter irritants are substances that produce superficial irritation or mild inflammation in one location with an aim to relieve irritation in another location. Counter irritants are often used to reduce pain and inflammation in traumatic and musculoskeletal conditions. Next is the general mechanisms of counter irritants. When an irritant substance produces pain stimulus on the skin, it masks the pain from deeper tissues. It acts by producing an irritant on the skin which increases blood supply to the applied area. The blood supply is increased by dilating the vessels. Increased blood flow causes an inflammatory response which is beneficial in treating localized problems like trauma, swelling, pain, and so on. It is because when blood supply increases, there will also be an increase in macrophages and lymphocytes. Lastly, it helps convert the chronic inflammation into an acute one. How do counter irritants work? They work by chemically stimulating or irritating the sensory receptors of the skin, especially the sensory receptors associated with thermal sensations. Pain signals from the nociceptors or pain receptors may be inhibited by irritation of the skin receptors. Therefore, preventing pain feelings from reaching the brain's pain receptors. This process is called gate control as described by Melzack and Wall in 1965. Counter irritants are classified based on the intensity of irritation. The classifications are rubefacient, vesicant, postulant, and caustic. Rubifacient are agents that produce a mild irritation. This increases the blood flow at the site of application, which can cause redness and mild heat. Examples of rubifacient are iodine ointment, camphor, capsaicin, and methyl salicylate. Rubifacients are associated with terms like iodine ointment, ichthyol ointment, liniments, tightener, brace, or sweat. Second classification is vesicant. Vesicants are agents that produce stiffer irritation to form vesicants or blisters underneath the skin which are filled with serous fluid. It is used in subacute and chronic inflammation to produce blistering. An example of a vesicant is cantharidine. Third, we have postulant. These are agents that produce a much stronger irritation which reaches the underlying structures and form pustules which are filled with pus. An example of postulant is croton oil. Last classification is caustic. These are agents that cause severe irritation, causing structures to corrode. Examples of caustic are caustic soda and caustic potash. These are the topical counter irritants used by veterinarians to treat conditions related to skin and mucous membrane. Thank you for listening.